Hi guys, welcome back. This is Srikant. Today in this session, we'll be talking about very important uh, feature which were added in SQL Server and which is a column store. This is very easy and very uh, easy to understand. First of all, it's not rocket science. To be honest, it's a uh, just the uh, new architecture which were added in SQL Server to uh, optimize the query to uh, to get the data in a fast manner. Uh, they have changed the uh, structure of storing the data basically in before uh, SQL Server 2012 the data was stored in the pages and those rows basically you know those rows will be stored uh, as we see in the tableau format right the that kind of structure we call as the row store so in row store the data was stored as a row in a pages then extends right of size 8k we know all those things then 8 pages is one extent okay great so in row store the data was storing as a tabular format there's a row format but in column store the data will be stored in the column format right so uh, why i'm talking about row store when i'm going to explain the column store so it's very important to understand that this column stores design totally different from our row store design in row store the data was storing in the tabular format that is a row and that's a column and the rows right that's a sales something now but in column store we have a different concept we store the data as a all as a segment right so here few things are added here segments uh, then row groups then dictionaries so different things are there so the thing which we need to understand while understanding the column store is that so for example I have one table I'm just creating one table sample table for example this is a table create table XYZ ID then name value name is equal to where care under let's say I have this two column with my table here so when I go with the normal index cluster or non cluster index uh, that time the data will be stored as a roster format and the data will be stored in a sequence in a pages as a as a row format right but when I'm going to have the column store index on my specific table that time the uh, data will be separated by the segments so what happened internally you know so as this table is having the two column ID and then name each column we call as a segment data so data of each column will be stored as a segment and each segment can have the one million rows one million entries you can see one million rows and very important to understand that these segments let's say this is segment 1 this is segment 2 are bound to each other by the concept called as the row groups row groups so in row groups we will be having segments and segment represent the each separate column and one segment will have one million entry in that one right so and very important thing is that logically when we create the cluster or non cluster column store index that time each row logically connected and each row will be placed in the row groups so this is